Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you how to solve very simple basic questions on Laplace transform, right? So let us check the first question. The first question says, find the Laplace transform for the graph. The graph is given below, right? So let's see in this graph what is given. So you can see that the interval that is given, which is bold, that is from 0 to 1 and then from 1 to 1 onwards, you can see another bold line over here, right? So to calculate the Laplace transform, we know that Laplace transform for any general function ft is given by the integral 0 to infinity e raised to power minus st multiplied with the function ft dt, right? So that means we first of all need to develop this function ft. So according to the given problem, so let's see how is our ft defined. We can see that the function ft is defined in the following way. It's a piecewise continuous function. And you can see that from 0 to 1, the function takes the constant value that is equal to 1. So ft is equal to 1 when t lies between 0 and 1, right? And 1 onwards, that means from 1 till infinity, what is the value of the function? The function is taking value 0. So this is how the function is defined to us, right? So now let us try to apply this formula to calculate the Laplace transform. So since the Laplace transform for the function is an integral and the function has a, it's in a form of a piecewise continuous function. So let us break the integral. So we will break the integral from 0 to 1 e raised to power minus st ft dt and then finally from 1 to infinity similarly e raised to power minus st ft dt now according to the interval let us substitute the values of the function so we have 0 to 1 e raised to power minus st now what is the function defined from the interval 0 to 1 it is 1 so it's 1 dt plus the integral from 1 to infinity e raised to power minus st and how is the function defined it is 0 to 0 dt right so you can clearly see that the second integral will become 0 so let us try to calculate the first integral integration of e raised to power minus st with respect to t is e raised to power minus st by minus s from 0 to 1 so you can take out minus 1 by s common and then when I substitute t as 1, the first term will come out to be raised to power minus s minus when I substitute 0, e raised to power 0 will become 1. So this finally becomes 1 minus e raised to power minus s divided by s. Right? So I hope you understood the question how to calculate the Laplace transform when the graph of the function is provided to us. Okay. Let us do one more problem and check how to calculate the Laplace transform for the given function. So here the function is already provided to us and how is the function defined? It is from t to k when the interval t lies between 0 and k and when t is greater than k the function is 1. So let us try to calculate it. So now Laplace of the function ft is equal to we have the definition 0 to infinity e raised to power minus st ft dt. Now, according to the given inter interval, let us break the interval. So, the first break is from 0 to k, e raised to power minus st. And what is the function defined to us? The function is t by k dt. And for the second function, the interval is from k to infinity, e raised to power minus st. The function is 1 dt, right? So now from the first integral, you can see that I can take out k common, 1 by k common. And we are left with e raised to power minus st and t. So let me write, uh, we'll use the integration by parts formula. So t acts as my first function and e raised to power minus st acts as the second function. So first function as it is, integration of the second function, that is e raised to power minus st by minus s minus now, derivative of t becomes 1, integration of this term will become e raised to power minus st by, again, minus s, so that will become plus s square, right? And we put the limits from 0 to k here. And then we have 
e raised to power minus st integration is e raised to power minus st by minus s limits from k to infinity. So let us see which terms we will retain after putting the limits. So now from the first term I can take out minus 1 by s common. When I substitute the upper limit I will get k e raised to power minus s k and on putting 0 the term will become 0. Then in the second term we have minus 1 by s square. Now let's put the upper limit so I will get e raised to power minus s k minus e raised to power 0 is 1. Now in the next term we can take out minus 1 by s common. Now when you put the upper limit you will get e raised to power minus infinity. What is e raised to power minus infinity and e raised to power infinity? Now e is 2 point something. So 2 point something raised to power a very big number is obviously a very big number. And e raised to power minus infinity means it's 1 upon e raised to power infinity. So 1 by infinity is approximately equal to 0. So always remember e raised to power minus infinity is 0 minus when I substitute the lower limit I get e raised to power minus s. Right. Now let us check what all terms we will get from here. So that will make it. So you can see k gets cancelled with the first term and we get minus e raised to power minus s k divided by s. Then in the next term we will get e raised to power minus s k divided by s square k then minus into minus is plus so we will get 1 by s square k then we have minus into minus is again plus it is e raised to power minus s k divided by s so which terms get cancelled the first term and the last term gets cancelled and what is our answer our answer is 1 by s square k we can take out common and we get 1 minus e raised to power minus k. So this is our final answer. Right. So I hope you have understood how to calculate the Laplace transform of basic functions when the either the function is defined to us or the graph of the function is provided to us. Right. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And those of you who have subscribed, they have the duty to pass on the pass on the videos to the other students who need them, right? So believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.